Williams for the job. This is John von Neumann, the scientific genius who helped pioneer the modern computer, game theory, the atomic bomb, and, as it turns out, invented a sorting algorithm. He devised it to work on this, one of the world's earliest electronic computers, which he'd helped design. The algorithm is called Merge Sort. The Merge Sort algorithm works on a principle of divide and conquer, and it consists of two parts. The first bit is the dividing part. This involves splitting everything into smaller groups. And now comes the conquering bit. The groups are now merged back together. But as I merge the two groups, I compare the sizes of the objects one pair at a time so that the merged group becomes sorted. Now the merge sort algorithm might look rather similar to the bubble sort, but where it comes into its own is that with a larger number of objects, it's much, much faster. So let's see how merge sort compares in speed to bubble sort. It's time for a battle of the algorithms. Here we've got bubble sort on the bottom and merge sort on the top, and we've got them sorting a thousand objects. Now, although they'll both produce the same end result, you can already see merge sort is getting there much faster. And this difference in performance gets more pronounced the more objects they're asked to sort. What is the most efficient way to sort a million 32-bit integers? <laughs> well, uh... Maybe I, I, I'm sorry, maybe... No, 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 I think... I think the, uh, the bubble sort would be the wrong way to go. <laughs> uh, Come on, who told him this? Merge sort beats bubble sort hands down for sorting large amounts of data. But in the crazy world of algorithms, there are many, many different ways to sort. At the last count, there were over 20 different types of sorting algorithms. All weirdly achieving the same result, but by different means. So there's a bubble sort, there's merge sort, insertion sort, there's heap sort, there's quick sort, tim sort, we've got gnome sort, there's um, pigeonhole sort, which is also called radix sort, there's bogo sort, which might never finish. There's no such thing as the best sorting algorithm. Each has its own pros and cons. And which one gets used often depends on the specifics of the problem. I think the beauty of studying algorithms is to try to aspire for solutions that are as elegant and efficient as possible. Well, I actually think bubble sort's very pretty. I like it. Merge sort's beautiful. We really couldn't live without them. Sorting algorithms bring order to the world.